Today we're going to talk about the SureSharp Mini Grinder. But before we get into that, there's a couple things you need to take into consideration when you sharpen your chain. The first thing you need to look at and check is for damage in your loop of chain. If it has come in contact with the ground, a fence post, or a rock, you're going to need to identify that particular cutter that has the most damage. And this is the cutter you're going to want to start grinding on. Now, when you grind, you want to make sure that you've removed all of the damage in that particular cutter so that the cutter is back into good chrome and it will hold an edge and the cutting performance will actually be good. Now for the SureSharp, the SureSharp comes in two versions. It comes in a 12 volt version and a 110 version. The particular one we have here with us today is the 12 volt version. The 12 volt version can either be plugged into a cigarette outlet in your car or can be plugged directly onto the battery in the engine compartment. The tool, either tool, will come with three grinding stones and the wrench to tighten it down with. When grinding, there's another important aspect that we need to keep in mind. It's the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule basically means that 80% of your stone or your file is down in the gullet of the cutter and 20% is above the top of the cutter. The SureSharp grinder has an adjustment point so depending upon which stone, you may have to loosen the, the screw and move the shield so you have that 80-20. Our particular chain type that we're sharpening today is 91PX. Now 91PX requires a 532nd stone. That's this particular stone here. Simply place it in the collet. Push the detent button. Tighten the collet by hand. Then using the wrench, finish securing the stone in the collet. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Now, to properly grind a chain, you need to know the angles at which to grind it. Our particular example is filed or sharpened to a 30 degree top plate angle. If you don't know the particular angle in which to grind your chain to, that information can be found in the manual for the SureSharp Mini Grinder, or it can be found online at OregonProducts.com. In our particular example, we're going to use the car battery adapter. So I'm going to go plug that in and power it up right now. We've got a power, some power supplied to it. What you need to know, you need to notice is that there are angles marked on this plate. 25, 30, and 35. What you want to do is you want to line up that line with the chassis of the chain and that will give you the correct angle for your top plate. Now when you're grinding, you don't want to hold this stone in one location. You actually want to work the tool back and forth along that cutter. That'll even the wear on the stone as well as help not create a hot spot on that cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I'm going to grind some cutters. Now once you've sharpened both the left hand and the right hand cutters, you need to make sure and go back through and set the depth gauges. Depth gauges are often referred to as rakers or drags. That relationship between the top of the depth gauge and the working corner of the cutter is critical for good cutting performance. I hope this information has helped you. And for further information, please go to OregonProducts.com. Video Shopping Network An Amazon Affiliate To see this product on Amazon, click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product previews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon Quick Link below the video.
Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.